That's a good boy, Doogie. I didn't get all I had into the last one. I'm gonna really toss it out there this time, so get your swimming paws ready. Oh, hello. You might remember me. I'm Billy Blue Hair. And of course, my trusty companion, the one that's always there for me when I need him, Doogie. Hmm, now where did Doogie go? Oh, there you are, Doogie. I was just telling them. Okay, okay. Well, for starters, that's not your ball. Go get your ball, Doogie. I'd like to say you're getting warm, Doogie, but that's not your ball either. Here's a treat to refresh your memory. Doogie! Doogie! I'm having deja vu. Let's go see if we can help Doogie find his ball. Hmm, Doogie must be behind the sandcastle. Let's knock it down and see, shall we? Whoa, that's peculiar. Whoa, there's another one. They sure are tall. Look at those things pop right out of the water. That's pretty cool, huh? Should we find out what they are? All righty then. What do you know? It's a sea stack. Certainly makes sense. There's the sea, and that's a stack. Sea stack. Now we know how it got its name, but where did they come from? Well, it's actually quite simple, you see. Wait a minute. I think I see something up there. Is that Doogie up there? Doogie! Doogie, get down here. How did you get up there anyway? You are one silly dog. While we wait for Doogie, let's get back to the stack. One thing for sure about sea stacks, they're always close to shore. That's because a sea stack used to be part of the shore. It's true, my friends. A long time ago, the seashore used to extend all the way out to here. So why is the seashore over there and not over here with the sea stack? Well, it works like this. Imagine a bowl of ice cream. Ooh, looks like strawberry. How about a bowl of chocolate chip instead? Much better. Now this tasty dessert is made up of different materials. Some of it soft, like the ice cream, and some of it hard, like the chocolate chips. Now if you were to leave this out for a while, the soft ice cream would slowly melt away, but the harder chocolate chips would remain. The seashore is exactly the same. It is also made up of soft and hard material. So when the waves crash against the seashore, it washes away the softer sand material, leaving the harder rocky material behind. And the harder rocky material left behind is a sea stack. So, just think of a sea stack as the chocolate chip of the sea. Hmm, if the seashore used to be all the way out there and the waves washed it away, where did it all go? Well, some of it ends up on the bottom of the ocean while the rest of it ends back on the shore, creating a beach. It's true, this beach is what remains of the old coastline. So, wait. 